Good morning, Karen. Here's your machine, the Breville Barista Express BES870 in black sesame. As you saw in the photos, it's in fantastic condition. So this is a used machine, um, but I believe it's one of my cleanest used machines because it's got very minimal wear and tear. Um, so usually the, wear, the standard wear and tear is around the front. You've got a few scratches here and here, chip here, scratch here, uh, but honestly nothing, honestly, nothing too bad. And over the years, you'll get scratches naturally. So it's just part of the process, I guess. And it's inevitable. So. Uh, considering this one has been used, it's been really taken care of. Uh, I finished doing the service a couple of days ago. Absolutely no issues with this machine. It's spotless on the inside. Um, I did all the cleaning procedures, all the um, grinder calibration, etc., etc. Pressure testing, everything perfect. Um, and in this video, I'll quickly make an espresso. I just I don't want to be running late after this video, so I'm quickly going to make an espresso. Um, a double shot. So I'll be testing all the features your um, grinder, steamer, etc. Um, so I'll start with warming up the machine. So usually I would get my handle, empty my cup, and I'll run a blank shot. You can do that once or twice to warm up the cup or the mug if you have a bigger mug. Um, or if you leave the machine on for 15 or 20 minutes, it'll also be nice and warm uh, by the time. So it turned off on its own, I didn't press the button. These buttons are programmable, you can change them to whatever length you'd prefer. Um, and yeah, they will stop on time, I did test that uh, before. Um, so, I like to measure my doses so I've got the coffee going in coffee coming out um, i do that for your interest if you're interested in sort of what sort of um, amounts go in and out um, a lot of people make coffee by eye you know eyeballing it uh, you don't have to use a scale but I'll, I'll be using a scale just to confirm things and try to be more consistent with my coffees um okay so i'll reset my scale uh, i made a coffee this morning i think on grind size six so I'll make another coffee now. I won't be having it, but I'll make a coffee at Grand Size 4. Uh, Grand Size 6 was a bit too runny for me, so it, uh, it was a bit too quick for a shot. Um, so the basics are, for a double shot, it's 18 grams of ground coffee in, and it should be 36, 36 grams of espresso out. And that should take about 30 seconds, give or take a few seconds. Um, so my 36 gram shot came out in, I think, 15 or 18 seconds. So too quick indeed. Um, I'll be doing it again, but this time I grind size number four. So a bit, a bit, couple numbers finer should slow things down uh, noticeably. Um, but I won't be overly focused on this test just because you may be using different beans in Leopold. Um, uh, so if you have like a, like a local roaster over there, their, their beans are probably going to be higher quality than what I'm using. I'm using Coles medium beans. Uh, stored in my vacuum canister. So yeah, the age of beans will also differ or I guess change your uh, brew speed um, But yeah, I'll be setting it sort of rough so, so that you can roughly have it in the right range and when you go home You don't have to fuss too much I'm gonna fill it with a bit more water so we don't run out of water in this video uh, okay. um, I will put the grunt amount so grunt size on four um, number one being the finest, run a mount on 12 o'clock and the, the filter size on the single. Um, I'll do the, I usually do the single instead of the double. Uh, with a double, it'll probably give you the double 18 gram shot in one go. Uh, but for me, I like to use the single because it's less messy, it allows you to uh, check it halfway. So I'm just gonna get rid of this because we changed the grind size um, this morning. So now we'll start actually grinding. Okay, this is my first dose. Let's have a look. We got 9.2, perfect. So uh, if you do this twice, we'll get about 18, 18 and a half. Um, the recommended here is 18 grams, 17 to 18 grams. If it's a bit more by half a gram, that's fine, but don't go to 19 and a half. Um, not good for that. Not good, not good for your coffee to, to be overdosed. Being a bit underdosed is okay by a gram or so. Um, 
Let's do the second dose. So as you saw, I pressed it down. This will make way for the second dose and it will prevent any spillage or minimize that at least. I'm also gonna test the hot water tap. So this will give you clean hot water right from the boiler. Um, you can use that for long black coffees or you know warming up your cup or making a tea bag, etc. Um, here is my second dose. Just to the top. And that's 18.1, perfect. So before I um, press it down, I will, will sort of spread it with my hands so that we, when we press it, it's nice and even all around. Um, so you can use your palm, use a bit of your fingers, tap in here and there just to like distribute it nicely. There's also tools you can buy online, $20, it will distribute the coffee. It's like a little spinning disc. I actually have one for my own machine, the barista touch here on the left. Uh, but I'll be using the manual, sort of the classic way, so you can know how to do it properly without any tools. Uh, so yeah, you spray around your fingers, um, and then when you press, make sure you, you can put it on the bench to make sure that it's an even surface. And then you apply even pressure all around. And nice and firm pressure, and voila, it's nice and smooth. Uh, it's even all around, there's no like gaps in it or any wonkiness. Uh, you'll notice. Uh, the depth of the tamper is like so. Uh, a good rule of thumb I tell people is the silver part should disappear. Um, so this is what's happening. That's the correct amount of coffee, 18 grand. And yeah, if you want to, you know, you're in a hurry, you don't want to use a scale, or if you don't have a scale, you can just look at the depth of the tamper and the silver part should be your guide. Clean any coffee if there's any on the edge here. Um, lock it in the middle. You don't have to go all the way to the right. Uh, it's a fairly uh, well-maintained machine. The rubber seal is very, very healthy. You don't have to go all the way to the right. Maybe in a few years, you might have to push it more to the right to hold pressure and prevent it from moving. Um, if I remember correctly, it held pressure in the middle position. I'm gonna reset my scale again now and we will make a coffee again. So, um, Right, I'll program the button for you, the double, to give you 36 grams of coffee. To do that, you press program, then the button you want to program. It'll make coffee and then you stop it when you're happy. I'll be aiming for about halfway. I'm also using my timer to measure the inputs and outputs uh, in, in the 30 seconds. Good pressure, good flow at the 8 second mark. 1 o'clock pressure now at full, full, full brewing uh, uh, speed and it's looking really good tracking nicely nice crema nice pressures even on both sides i'll stop it at the 26 seconds here uh, i think that's 36 grams that's 40 grams uh, so still good um and that hap that happened in 26 seconds so it's actually pretty good i would drink that shot gladly it's uh appropriate you can slow it down a bit more by grinding one number finer. So we're at number four now here. If you grind to three, it'll be even a bit more finer. It'll slow it down. You'll get that 30 second time. But honestly, this is very good. Um, yeah, good amount of crema. I would love to taste it, but I'm fasting. Um, yeah, uh, drink this as is. Uh, or add it to milk to make a latte. Um, We'll turn on the steam. Actually, no, let's clean first. Very easy to clean. If you have a knock box or a bin, um, this type of basket cleans very easily. Just one knock and it's gone. Um, and then give it a flush. I, I recommend a flush rather than going all the way to the sink and back. So just flush. That will clean your shower screen and your port filter in one go. Um, and it'll, it will fill the drip tray because you, you're discarding water to the drip tray more quickly. Um, yeah, and you can put it like so to let it dry or you can just make another coffee if you wish um, it would be nice every now and then for you to uh, wipe the shower screen with either the brush or a tissue I usually just grab a tissue that I have lying around and clean there's usually a tiny bit of coffee grounds left in there um, yeah that would be very nice for your machine to have um, next you know, we tested the grinder, we tested the hot water tap. Next is just testing the steamer. It's a 
single boiler machine, so it has to heat up the boiler to, 50, to, to 130 degrees, which takes usually about 15 seconds. Uh, so give it a few, a few seconds. Once you hear the pump engaging, that's usually about full pressure. There we go. Pretty good steam pressure. You have to learn the technique um, if you haven't already. Um, yeah, keep, keep the milk spinning in the jug. Keep the tip at the about a centimeter deep into the milk. And uh, yeah, when you're done, turn it off. Take the, the jug out. Um, well, actually, no. Once the steam starts, you have to turn it off. Place the jug and then start steaming. So you don't have to mess. You don't make a mess. Otherwise, if you put the jug as it's running, it'll bubble it up and make a little spill. Uh, so yeah, and then once you're done steaming, you turn it off, point it down, give it a purge, very important, give it a purge to clean the insides of any milk, and then turn it off. And once you turn it off, it gives you five seconds to uh, wait, and then it'll go back to espresso mode. It'll cool down automatically. There we go. And I'll, I like to use a wet towel to wipe the wand. That's the easiest way to get it clean. Uh, usually a tissue is not good enough. It has to be a wet towel. Uh, wipe it off straight away from all the sides, under, even up, all the way up here. Um, and yeah, it's back to clean now. You can make another coffee, you can turn it off um, and make and, and greet the machine next morning. It'll be nice and clean and ready to go for you. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, very clean machine, absolutely no issues at all. And like I said, 30 day warranty. If there's any issues, you can just come back to me. I highly doubt you'll see me in the next 30 days because it's a really a spotless machine on the inside and these are really, really reliable units. Um, but they don't give me headaches at all. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I know it's a bit of a rushed video. If we had time, ideally I would have made a latte, showed you how to do steaming properly and uh, showed you the result. But this is what we have since you're coming this afternoon from Leopold. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Hope you enjoy the machine and uh, yeah, I will see you very soon. Thanks. Karen.